This object has quite a number of decals on it, and the more decals you have, the harder it can be to keep your scene organized. Which is why Decal Machine 2 introduces the Join and Split tools. You can find them in the Tools section of the main Decal Machine panel. I'm selecting all the info decals here, and then join them to a single object. I repeat this for the panel decals, but note that you don't have to group them like this. You can join any number and types of decals, even across different parent objects. If you find yourself using the Join tool a lot, you may want to add it to the Pi menu, which you can do from the Decal Machine preferences. It's not done by default, because the Pi is getting a bit crowded. And finally, I join all the leftover simple and subset decals. Instead of the dozens of decals at the start of the video, there are only three now. And I can join these two. Join works on multiple levels. Joining would be a fairly destructive process, if it weren't for the split tool. And split also works on multiple levels, so splitting now reveals the three previously joined decals again. Each of which can then be split again, bringing back all the original individual decals from the beginning. Note that all the individual decals have their original origins and unique properties again. This is something you just can't do when joining and splitting, using Blender's native tools, so I highly suggest you don't use them when dealing with decals.